If you guys need to get rid of that legal disclaimer on your BMW, stay with us and we will, accept, uh, we will explain how to actually program it so you don't have to click accept every time you start your vehicle. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 or 4 series, guys. Especially if it's not for legal use, guys. Not for legal on-road use, only off-road use, let's say a truck or something like that. And you want to get rid of the legal disclaimer in the beginning that you have to always uh, click accept. That says to pay attention and not to stare at the screen, things like that. Uh, do that only on an off-road vehicle. We will explain how we can program it to actually get rid of it. Otherwise, if it's on an on-road vehicle, guys, it's illegal. Stay with us and we'll explain how to do that step by step. But before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We guys take them completely apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Transmissions, engines, uh, suspension, bodywork, anything. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you need to buy any parts tools for your BMW at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. So let's start on it now. When you guys do coding, we have a battery charger connected right here. You can see our diagnostics, you have to have stable voltage, otherwise, okay, things can go chaotic, it can interrupt coding and you can damage your vehicle. So make sure you have good battery voltage through the whole time. So let's explain how you can simply connect, okay, the port tuner. Uh, you guys have the uh, wired connection that you can do, okay, with the OBD and USB, but this is the Bluetooth wireless. This is amazing, guys that little bitty device it's super powerful just when you do diagnostics coding especially guys okay just to avoid interruptions with other bluetooths and wi-fi's it's recommended if you use bluetooth turn your uh, wi-fi off and turn all your other bluetooth connections off okay now i'm going to go ahead plug it in here okay it's very tight fit by the way let me see now okay perfect you will see lights will go there guys now okay you can see and once it connects okay we have one uh, green light blinking there as well here let us show you now on the inside what you will need to do it's recommended guys to turn the ignition switch on have a battery charger okay to keep constant supply on the battery because when you do coding diagnostics you should have stable voltage above 12.5 even if you're tired of that message at the beginning you want to get rid of it you can program it with that thing so now we're going to open the phone okay uh, and this is guys the app right here here we're going to select the bluetooth connection and if i scroll down i click right here okay you're going to see the bluetooth okay we're going to click beamer geeks the password for ours was one two three four okay it's a safe device okay well, it's uh, there you can see right now available devices and this is it right here now what i need to do at that point okay i go back to the app and i click connect connect you can see it says we recommend disabling wi-fi and any other bluetooth connections so it doesn't interfere we're going to go ahead and connect it now it's finishing up things may start dinging in the car okay now confirm perfect you have all the different okay computers here now available so now guys we are going to go to multi ecu click calling here uh, while well, it's connecting a few things that we call it that are super nice one of them is the coolant temperature gauge right here you can check your uh, tar pressure actual pressure and temperature as well we'll have videos on the channel how to do that now right here okay we're going to go ahead and see until you guys see that function scroll down uh, legal disclaimer okay to remove uh, legal disclaimer so that's a disclaimer when you turn the car off okay that's always in the way guys so let's go ahead and see where it's located now it should be under the radio module most likely okay rear window interrupt enhanced bluetooth high beam sports display video audio chirp temperature remove legal disclaimer right here click that one now we're going to go ahead confirm let's back up that data just to have it file 
BMW F30 11 so I keep track of all of them here guys okay we're going to go ahead and go to uh, view in motion allow video sports display remove legal disclaimer it's disabled click enable finalize it's going to do the coding now it'll take a little bit of time it may restart things you may see some warning lights do not freak out all that will be cleared in the next scene guys okay so we're going to test it and see if it works now so it says clearing vehicle errors success coding has finalized we're going to uh, please cycle your ignition so here all we have to do turn ignition off on now I'm going to go ahead okay and pretend I'm on the outside I'll lock the car okay the car has been locked right it's been locked now uh, we're going to go ahead open it and we want to see if that legal disclaimer will be there unlock it enter the vehicle perfect now we're going to go ahead turn the ignition switch on and it automatically starts without that legal disclaimer use that only on a track or off-road bmw hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time